What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, NextGen720, and I am back with another video. And didn't I say I hate to be the Xbox to say I told you so? But guess what? I told you so. I told you guys that the Xbox wasn't going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger. So look at here. Like I said, I've been saying this shit for the last year. Oh, NextGen, you're spreading out false information. Remember all that shit y'all was saying? What do we have? Microsoft gives more CPU power to the Xbox One developers. If you didn't know, both the Xbox One and the PS4 have eight core processors. You know, two of the cores were allocated, you know, well, even with the PS4, they have eight cores. Only six of them can be used towards gaming. The other two are reserved for the OS or whatever the case may be. And the same thing with the Xbox One, so we thought. One was reserved for the Kinect and one was reserved for the OS. Uh, not any case anymore <clears throat> with these new SDK kits. Not only does it allow the developers to have um, to be able to access the ESRAM in, in ways they wanted to, but didn't have the tools to do it. Like I said, remember, listen, to this, who works? You can have the most powerful console in the world, but if you don't have the tools to extract that power, it means nothing. Uh, you, I've been saying this shit from day one, right? So with Microsoft, with these new SDK kits, it gives developers ways to access the ESRAM. Um, you know, to assess it and do things with it that they couldn't do before because they didn't have the tools. Not only that, Microsoft lets the developers have access to their seventh core, eighty percent of the seventh core. Now, it's a, it, listen, it is a trade-off. Um, if a developer wanted to have voice commands inside the game, they couldn't do that. You know, what I mean, either you can either you know, what I mean, either it's a trade-off. So, if you want to, you if the developer is not going to use the connect whatsoever and just want to go. With a game, they can have access to their seven core and have eighty, but you know, ball out with it. You know, I mean, not if they want to have some connect features inside the game, they're not going to be able to do that. I'm being honest with you again. I don't care about motion control gaming. The reason why I love the connect is for the other stuff: Xbox record that, this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? Um, just me talking to my system. In period, Xbox, HBO, and I, I love it. Like to me, the, the Xbox One makes the the Xbox One makes the, I'm sorry, the Kinect makes the Xbox One. Hello? Hello? Yes, 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 I'm, I'm doing a video now. All right, bye. So, yeah, so again, it's a trade-off, but again, even now these words are starting to ring true. Um, I told you guys that the Xbox One is going to continue to evolve, continue to get stronger. Um, for whatever reason, you guys think you don't think the Rec X12, not all you guys, the haters, doesn't think the Xbox One is going to take full advantage of the Rec X12. Now, here it is, the parent company, which is Microsoft. They, listen, listen to Ann Greenberg's words. Say, here, we have some of the smartest in the developers and engineers working for us in the world. You know, we created Direct X. That is ours. You know what I mean? Here, this Microsoft, they're making this new API, Direct X12. Hey, we also have a console that's coming out. Um, you know, also have a console coming out, the Xbox. Why do you think this the, the Xbox is called the Xbox? That it was was going to be called the Direct Xbox. Why do you think uh, Microsoft went with the name Xbox One? Because everything that Microsoft is, whether it's the Zor, Windows 8, you know, Direct X, everything in one machine. That's why you have the name is Xbox One. Everything that Microsoft was involved, cloud based and so all that stuff, all in one machine. You know what I mean? Even look at what the developer said from from the division. And he praised, you know, uh DirectX. He said, you know, you can have, you know, games that, you know, would double the frame rate. Like I said, the the C D ever let me slow down. I'm getting ahead of myself. Everything in the Xbox One is custom. Everything. Everything. Now, I told you guys that the, the PS4 kind of use off-the-shelf parts. Everything in the Xbox One is custom. You know what I mean? Like I said before, about a year from now or so, year and a half now, I, I can promise you this, that what we see right now is going to be a small reflection of what the Xbox One can do. Look what the lead developer said from um, April Odyssey. So you can have console A may have been more powerful at launch, right? But... During the, the, these console lights of console B may be the more powerful console at the end of these consoles life cycle. Now, this is not me saying this, this is the lead guy from 
a World Odyssey. Now, you had the other guy, another guy, like I said, from the division is saying that, and he had nothing but great things to say about Direct X 12 and how it's the Xbox One is going to benefit from. Well, of course, Bill, Phil Spencer played it out. Of course, you're, probably, you're not supposed to let your, your right hand know what your left hand is doing. And again, the reason why another one, the Xbox can continue to, to tweak and, and up, up clock, over clock is because also, too, think about it, their power supply is not inside their the console. You know what I mean? Ain't too much overclocking all that shit that Sony can do because they have their power supply inside the console. It already runs hot as hell. You know what I mean? So you know, you don't want to overheat the console. I'm telling you guys, watch. We're gonna see. Now y'all you said what well, next gen you always spreading out, you know, mispropaganda. Nah, I got you know, that's why I laugh at you guys and I sit back like some of this shit is common sense, you know. But so here it is, so right now. You know, Microsoft with these new let these developers have access to the seventh core. That's no whole extra core. Think, yo, it's about to get serious, man. Also, too, now remember all you guys are around saying no parity, no parity. Remember that the Xbox was holding back the it was holding back Assassin's Creed from being 1080p on the. Remember all these YouTubers? Shout out to my man uh, 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 Francis. He kept it funky. He hit me up and said, "Bro, you was right." All along, it was man. It was like a shout out to uh, yeah, I be talking to some YouTubers sometime, man. I ain't know anybody didn't hit me up and told me they don't, you know, pull me to slide on Twitter and inbox me say, yo, you was right. But anyway, it's neither here nor there, you know. But think about it, you know, some engines are heavy on the CPU, like the Unity engine, you know. Like I said in the day, I don't know what GPU was in the Xbox One, whatever. Like I said, it is custom. We don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it is custom. Uh, but the Xbox One is going to continue and continue to get stronger and stronger. That's a fact. Now they have access to another core. Um, now they've been able to access the ESRAM in ways they couldn't before. And it's not even dealing with tower resources. I'm going to tell you this, and it's all I'm going to say. When you guys see Fable Legends next year, that's all I'm going to say. You know, hands down, the best. Graphically, next year, I'm bullshit you not. I would take that game and put it against any exclusive on any, whatever platform. I'll bullshit you not. I should. I would probably put that against some PC games, man. I'm just keeping it funky, man. Real talk. And we're going to see. We're going to see. Shit, look what Bungie said about Halo 5. They said the end game, you know, from Halo 5. Shits on the order. Now, whether you like it, the order is a very pretty looking game. And whether the game is fun or not, but it is what it is. This is what, like I said, I don't really pay Microsoft as being liars, you know. Um, I don't, you know. But now it's all starting to come together. It's all starting to make sense. Like I told you guys before, you can have the most powerful console in the world, but if you don't have tools to assess that power, it means nothing. Fuck what's on paper. It all boils down to real world performance. Of course, you heard me say that before. The founder of Atari, what did he say about Microsoft? One of Microsoft's strongest suits are they have the best dev kits and tools around. This is coming from, you know, the founder, the godfather of Atari. Again, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Uh, Microsoft gives developers access to the 7th core. 80% of like I said, it's about to go down, baby. I'm telling you, man. And you're going to start to surprise. Uh, well, don't be surprised. If you start seeing some games on the Xbox One, it's 1080p, 60 frames a second locked. And with some games are 1080p, 30 frames a second on the PS4. I bought like, you gonna hear it? Look, listen, I'm telling you, you heard it here first. Oh, thumbs down, you and your fanboy. This ain't, no, this ain't nothing about no fanboy. This is common sense here, man. Real talk, this, this is common sense. Everything that I've said in this video today, I've been saying for the last year or so. But when I say this, you guys call me a fanboy, and I'm spreading, you know, uh, uh, I'm spreading propaganda and all that stuff. I told you guys that the Xbox One is going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger. You guys said I know what the hell I was talking about. Oh no, you're just a fanboy. Just take it right now. The PS4 is more stronger. I and I told you guys. I said I don't really buy that. You know, I'm just going by what Microsoft said. You need more than a, a GPU to make your account. Like, you understand what I'm saying? More than just a GPU to say, hey, you got a beefy GPU. It's more than that. The Xbox One has a more powerful CPU. 
That's a fact. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. Release from, from Sony specs from Sony Mr. Zell. Their CPU can do 16 ops per cycle. The Xbox One right now can do 48 ops. Now with this extra core, and with BB, like I don't know. That's going to go up. But I, I, these are not my words. This is what came from Sony. Shit, like I said, now when I did the video, I left the link about the and I, again, I did not just, I, I had proof, I had links to back everything up when this whole parody thing. Xbox CD4, no parody. I'm going I'm to I'm leave the link at the bottom. Like, and I left the link there within the video to see what the hell I was talking about. And, and it's still one of you guys. Hey, you guys still thought the, P, the Xbox One was holding back the PS4. I'm telling you guys. Now you start to see, and like, again, we have seen some games this generation have better frame rate on the Xbox One. Look at Call of Duty. You know? You know, look at Call of Duty now. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. This is your boy Next Gen 720. Twist your fingers up. Bang, motherfucker, bang. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I'm back.